SEO optimized. The <coughs> there are few kind of permanent structure. Uh, some common one is with the year, month, date, and post title. That one is too long and like me. That's that's what I was using. Now I'm choosing the post title and post ID. Let's talk about the category first. The category with post title is good. Category is a very, 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 very good keyword. So it's good if you can include in the URL. But the problem is when you rename the category or you change the category, category of a post, you might get some problem. Although it can be solved. Then uh, the one I chose is the post title with post ID. It's short, precise, and with keywords. Why add the post ID? Because we want to make every every URL a unique one. If you have duplicate one, WordPress will automatically add one, two, three, and the sequence. That's uh, not good. Okay, now to the content. <coughs> the SEO for your blog post. The first thing is the H1, not H1 and one by the H1 is the heading, the number one heading. It's very important. It should equal your primary keywords. And normally we sync with the title. We use the same keywords as we in the title. Then we have the H2, H3, H4, H5, and so on. Uh, I use this to outline the articles. It includes the keywords you target and the secondary keywords. Uh, this subheading is good for your readers too. They can scan through your articles. If you write a very long one, they can scan. Okay. And then the first first paragraph of your blog. The first paragraph should be the summarize of your blog articles. It's include the keywords. Okay, keyword, keyword, keyword. And it's short in two or three sentences. It gives an idea to your readers what the following content is about. And the content. The content uh, include the keywords. Okay, I repeat too many times. Keywords. Because SEO is about keywords. <laughs> keywords, keywords, keywords. For some, in your content, uh, for some important keywords, you use bold and italic them. But don't overuse. <coughs> When you write a blog post about this related to your keyword post, you can make an interlink. Interlink is the link in between your blog. When you link to other blog article of in your blog, you should use the key phrases, uh, use the keywords. Don't use like click here, or, uh, click here, click there. We have to read more, something like that. Use the keywords to get the SEO juice. Again, uh, do not overdo this. It will be very spammy and useless. Be natural and include your keywords when it's fit, fit in. Than your content. 
So we must optimize the SEO for your images. As a best, if you do not include these techniques, uh, the first thing is the fun name. The fun name should be good keywords. <laughs> <laughs> and the alternate, alternate should be good keywords. And alternate should be a uh, description. Describe the picture. Let the search engine know what is the picture about. Because search engine until now, uh, even really can read a picture. Then the title. Title is less useful here, but title give you give users a toolkit when they mouse over the picture. Then the picture size. It is helpful to let the browser give the space for the picture before it is loaded. No index. When you have a uh, one hundred articles, then by default the WordPress will have the tag pages, archive, and the month, month, month archive. It will become uh, not one hundred but few hundred pages. But for for search engine, those pages are useless for. It's also useless for users because when they search for something, they see a list of that articles. That's not what they want. So we want to exclude these pages in search engine. We use the no in test. That's the HTML tag for the no in test. <coughs> With no in test, search engine will exclude those pages and in test only your Real content. <coughs> to do this, you do, do not need to do, do this manually. Manually, you can use the WordPress plugin. This is the tool that I highly, highly recommend. The first one is all-in-one SEO pack. As the name suggests, it's an all-in-one. It gives you control to meta description, <coughs> test, the title, and so on. Then the Google XML sitemap. This will, this plugin will create a XML sitemap that help the search engine to better indent your page, better indent your pages in your blog. Great, that's all. Thank you. Here's my content info. Any question? Question. Previously, my URL is quite long. It includes the 